Welcome to Ironman 70.3 Geelong. My name's Andy White, I'm your race director. Let's jump straight into a briefing. Jenny Denison is our race referee, Andy Maguire, our technical delegate, and Hugh Allen, our chief race official. Ironman 70.3 Geelong respectfully acknowledges that this event is held on traditional lands of the Wadawurrung people and pays respect to elders both past, present, and emerging. Here's the contents of what I'm gonna run through today. Let's jump straight into it. The Athlete Information Guide is the go-to place for all the up-to-date up information, so please make sure you take the time to have a read of that before coming to site. You must be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 to participate, so to clarify, that's two doses of vaccination. All the uh, standard measures apply, social distancing um, and signing in of QR codes. Um, once your vaccine ver verification is, is cited, either um, using the, the Victorian Government QR code app or uh, in paper form, um, you'll be provided a wristband. Please make sure you keep that on for the duration of the weekend. Here's the event schedule here. So site opens on Friday at 2.30 p.m. Please make sure you adhere to your allocated check-in time uh, and make yourself available at that time. Uh, compulsory overnight bike racking um, on 10.30 to 4.30 on Saturday. So again, please make sure you adhere to that, the time allocated. Transition tours in effect again this year. 11.30, 1.30 and 3.30 p.m. So please make yourself available down at Eastern Beach if you want to attend those. Here's our venue here, Steam Packet Garden. So check in in the middle of the venue here. So when you come down, make sure you have your uh, QR code handy and uh, head into check in. Merchandise will be available. There'll be some exhibitors and, uh, and this is the finish line and recovery venue, uh, area also in the venue. Here's some key uh, bits of your race kit. So your wristband, as mentioned, keep that on for the duration of race weekend, gives you access to all the athlete only areas, your tattoo number, your race bib number, your uh, seat post sticker for your bike and your helmet sticker. Also your bag stickers for your street gear bag and for your bike pump, you also get your swimming cap and your street gear bag. Transition, as I mentioned earlier, between 10.30, open between 10.30 and 4.30. For bike racking on Saturday, it's compulsory. Please make sure you adhere to your allocated time. If you do have any questions, ask the team at either information in the village or find an Ironman staff member in transition. Timing chips. No timing chip is no validation of completing the course and no race time. So please make sure you wear that um, at all times during the race. It'll be distributed at check-in, uh, sorry, at transition. So please make sure after racking your bike, you exit out out of uh, transition and pick up your timing chip. This will be uh, handed back in post-race. All relay team members must be present at athlete check-in. Your timing chip acts as the baton, so you hand that between athlete swim to bike to run. Um, all relay team, team members must wear their wristbands um, and only the run leg member needs to wear the bib. All athletes are welcome to cross the finish line together. Here is the relay transition exchange location down here, the teams area. So uh, um, second and third athletes will uh, head in through here and meet their athlete at the, the bike racking position. We'll have bike mechanics available on Saturday for any uh, last minute or minor mechanical issues. Uh, also roving on course on Sunday. Transition access time on race morning, 5.45 a.m. to 6.45 a.m. So please make sure you bring all bits of equipment with you. There's a reminder of some, uh, some items there which you wanna make sure you have. Uh, please make sure you have your helmet on and done up, your wristband and your timing chip. The water temperature is approximately 18 and a half degrees. So at this stage it's gonna be a wetsuit legal swim. But however, the official decision will be made on race morning and communicated via the PA system in transition. Here you can see swim start on Eastern Beach. There are the zones there. Uh, so please uh, seed yourself according to your, your submitted zone time. Uh, we have toilets adjacent to transition to the right of this map here um, and the event village to the left. Street gear is also on the beach here. So any, anything, any day gear that you have, um, including your bike pump, please don't leave that, those in transition and take them down to street gear and they'll be, they'll be stored there. It's uh, important that everyone knows the rules and the course. Um, it's every athlete's responsibility to know this. So let me take you through a, a few things now. Here is the swim course. 
in a northerly direction out off Eastern Beach. Uh, it's a right-hander at turn boy one, a right-hander at turn boy two, and then a left-hander at turn boy three. So your pink boys are your turning boys and your orange boys are your signing boys. It's one lap to make up for 1.9 kilometres. If you do require assistance in the swim, please raise your hand and uh, water safety will be on station as soon as possible. If there's a cancelled swim, this will be communicated on race morning via transition. And if you and if you do withdraw or abandon the race for any reason, please make yourself known to one of the team members as soon as possible. Here you can see the green line tracking out of the swim into transition. So you follow the swim exit chute and enter transition via the northeastern corner before proceeding to your bike, getting everything you need onto the bike and out via the bike exit blue line through the bowl and up to the bike um, mount line on Ritchie Boulevard. The bike course is two laps out from uh, Eastern, um, Eastern Beach, up through East, Eastern Park and onto Geelong Port Arlington Road. So as I mentioned, two laps, we'll have uh, mobile mechanics on station and there's two bi uh, bike course aid stations, which you'll hit on each lap at five and 50 kilometers and 25 and 70 respectively. The penalty box as shown here is located in Eastern Park uh, as you return on each lap at 43 and a half kilometers and 88.5 kilometers. Here you can see the aid stations on the bike. There's the flow of, of products with water, Gatorade, Morton, and then it reverses out the other side with toilets and litter, litter disposal at the end. Please make sure you're aware of the, uh, the drafting uh, blocking and passing rules. It's a non-drafting race. You must pass on the right and keep 12 metres between the leading edge of the front wheel and the leading edge of your wheel. And a pass must be completed in 25 seconds. There will be technical officials out on course enforcing this. And if you do receive one of the above uh, mentioned uh, penalties, please make sure you serve that at the, the penalty box at the end of each lap at 43 and a half and 88.5 kilometres on the second lap. Uh, you receive a 30 second time penalty if you get a yellow card, blue is for five minute and a red card is a disqualification. So just make sure you're, you're aware of the, the rules there and no littering, illegal passing, blocking or drafting. T2, bike to run. So you head back in, dismount off the bike and into transition before heading to your bike rack and you run out the, again, the northeast corner down the run exit chute and then onto the run course. The run course is two full laps of transition, so you head out along Ritchie Boulevard onto Eastern Beach Road and up towards Rippleside Park before turning, heading back through the event village along the waterfront and back out to Limeburner's boat ramp and back to transition. So as I said, two full laps before returning to uh, the venue village via the Cunningham Street car park, so via through here and then down into the village. So just make sure you're, uh, you're aware of that. Uh, lap bands as well, you'll need to have two lap bands or a, from each point to, to head down the finishing chute. Run course aid stations are approximately every two kilometres. Uh, water, Gatorade, cola and then food. We've got Morton and High Five uh, bars uh, on the run course and then it reverses again out the other side with toilets and litter disposal at the end. Here you go, at the end of your race, you head down, down the finishing chute, make sure you've got those two lap bands uh, and enjoy those finish line fields into recovery. Volunteers will meet you at the finish line and briefly assess you. Medical is on station if uh, that is required. You'll be presented with your finisher towel and medal. Volleys will uh, guide you through the recovery area. It's continuous flows, so take what you need and continue to move forward and you'll be able to access your street gear back at Eastern Beach. This is just a reminder that the finish line is athletes only and there is a relay team access point at the adjacent to the finish line for relay team members to join their run athlete and run down the finishing shoot. The cutoff times are listed there. Please make sure you're aware of those uh, and adhere to them. Um, one hour and 10 for the swim, five hours for swim and bike and eight hours uh, for the duration of all three legs. Medical, some medical notes here. Look after yourself, look after those around you and let event staff know if you need any medical assistance. We have a lot of volunteers out there helping us this year, so please be respectful and uh, give them a shout out and a thanks. We can't deliver these events without their help. For any athletes in Aquabike, you finish your race as you cross the bike finish timing mat at the bike dismount line. Upon dismounting your bike, 
you're required to rack your bike at the allocated position in transition. You'll you will be presented with your towel and medal. Uh, at this point in time, please return your timing chip. Aquabike swimmers, you should sort yourselves uh, into the correct start group based on your uh, swim start time. There is no different start for Aquabike swimmers versus 70.3 swimmers. If you uh, think you're at the front of the race, uh, we've had a really good race. For four o'clock is awards back in the venue village, so please make yourself available there. The top three athletes in each age category um, should attend. Uh, this is shortly followed by roll down. Uh, we have 45 age group qualifying slots for the St George Utah 70.3 World Championships until the 28th and 29th of October. So if this is something that interests you, please make sure you uh, are attending the awards and roll down ceremony and um, they'll be available during that process. Good luck. We can't wait to see you in Geelong very soon. All the best with the last bit of preparation. Cheers.